this year marks the 35th anniversary of Taxi Driver. I would like to know what kind of move, mood uh, there was on set. Uh, do you have the feeling you were shooting something that will, would become so important uh, for the new Hollywood? Well, I had met Marty Scorsese at NYU, so I knew his talent already because we had done his student film, Who's That Knocking at My Door? It was a 35 millimeter film, I think the first one made by a student in America. Um, Marty's talent was so raw and, uh, well, we were young and raw. <laughs> and um, uh, from his early student film, I felt that he was a special talent on the scene. And um, Paolo Sorrentino Youth, one of the main team of this movie, is uh, the regret of youth. Do you have any regrets of your in of your life, in of your youth? Wait, you say uh, because of the movie Youth. Yeah. He, how did you use the word regret? That he regretted. Uh, one of the main team of the movie is the regret of youth. Regret of youth. What, of losing youth or...? Yeah, of you losing youth. Yes. Do you have any regret about your youth? Well, okay. Um, one thing is to regret that you're not young anymore. The other thing is to regret events in your youth. So it's a little complicated. Um, I personally am... Uh, I'm glad I'm here now. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I take my past with me. And I can't be, I can't feel sorry for myself. Certain things I would have changed, certainly. But uh, all in all, I'm glad I've learned to survive it all and uh, be here talking to you. You recently said that your collaboration with Tarantino isn't over. I would like to know uh, what do you love the most about his work, his cinematographic work? Tarantino? <clears throat> well, it's a good question, but I, I'm not sure I can answer it exactly. Um, Quentin was just a volatile young man when I met him, you know. He was hungry. He needed money to eat, mm -hmm. and uh, he was—he had the energy of a of a lion, uh, and the love of cinema, and the love of acting. He had studied with a colleague of mine from the actor's studio. He had studied acting with him. Other than that, he had no experience anywhere. He was renting videos in the video store. Um, but it was a woman that gave me his script. Um, Reservoir Dogs, mm -hmm. a colleague of mine from the actor's studio. And when I read his script, never having met him or anything, I became aware of uh, his talent. It's like the script was already directed. Um, yeah, go ahead. In the last few years, we heard a lot about uh, female empowerment. Uh, but 30 years ago, you joined the cast of Tell My Louise, which is such a modern movie. What hit you the most about this script? Well, the beautiful, talented Callie Corey wrote the screenplay. Callie was first an actress, by the way, who I believe studied at the actor's studio, or at least studied the method. And she was such a wonderful soul. Um, through her, I could feel the soul of the story. Oh, through her, I uh, through her I could feel the soul of the story she she had, she had written, and it was a it was a lament about um, the female situation. So uh, it was a powerful piece of work. I was very lucky to be a part of it. And I still feel proud of that film. And Callie Curry. <laughs> yeah. And really Scott for choosing to make that movie. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I you. have to go. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much.